for a treat. We are in for a treat. 12.36, 24 minutes now before 1 o'clock. News Talk Radio 77. WABC, your 50,000-watt blowtorch of free speech. My name is Sean Hannity. Weeknights, Monday through Friday, 11 to 2. Those are our hours. And I uh, hope you enjoyed our discussion with Sam Husseini of the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee. We'll talk more about it in our final wacky hour free-for-all coming up at 1 o'clock. Wide open phones, as we always have in our final hour. You can talk about anything. Uh, let me tell you what the treat is. The most listened to talk radio uh, host in America, as you know, broadcasts right out of here often. Uh, we are the EIB building, is Rush Limbaugh. 600-plus uh, radio stations coast-to-coast, coast, followed by our, our very own Dr. Laura. With about, I guess she has about 400-plus radio stations. But in the last number of years, there has been a phenomenon happening in nighttime talk radio. It has been taking this country by storm, and it started at a 50,000-watt blowtorch in Las Vegas, Nevada, known as KDWN, K-Dawn Radio, and uh, with one guy, one station, and uh, now uh, is on some 400-plus stations, and tonight we welcome him to the family here at 77 WABC, and I've been a fan of his for a long, long time, and, I, and I've had the distinct honor of got, getting to know Art in recent months uh, Art Bell joins us, and uh, he'll be on each weeknight now from 2 to 5, uh, Monday through Thursday. Art, Hello, it's a... Sean. <laughs> Are we really on in New York? You know, and, and I, got, I know for a long time this has been your dream, as it was my dream, to get on this radio station because I grew up listening to WABC. That makes two of us. I, I lived in the Northeast Carter, Connecticut, New Jersey, all the way down in Maryland. No matter where I went, it was WABC. W a and Harry Harrison, Ron Lundy, uh, Cousin Brucey, those guys all were the great pioneers of music radio, of course, and then, you know, making the switch in the early 80s to talk radio. Hey, do you suppose it's possible, if I'm really on WABC, and I have yet to believe that, <laughs> uh, that somebody there could send me a, a copy of the old jingle package? You know, I know Johnny Donovan, who is the uh, voice of the Rush Limbaugh show and, and this station, um, I know for a fact he has all of that, and, and if you want a copy of that, I'll make sure you get one. Keep my right arm. Uh, you got a deal. You got all a deal. Right. Listen, yes, it's true. I'm on 400 stations, but I, I want to tell the audience, your audience, and I'll, I'll tell them later. Soon to be thing. yours. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous about it. Really, you were just telling me during the break. I was not going to bring that up. I was shocked. You're a guy that's on the 400 sweats. radio stations, and you're nervous about coming on here. No, the sweats, the cold sweat. Are you serious? Yep. yep Why? Yep. Why are you so nervous about that? Um, it's happened to me every time a large market has joined Chicago, Los Angeles, uh, San Francisco. For the first few hours, I can't not make myself conscious of it, and in my uh, mind's eye, you know, I see. I see Manhattan, I see this giant circle around Manhattan, it probably goes halfway out to the Atlantic Ocean, and all those people listening, in an area where I grew up, a, a radio station that I worshipped, and I get the cold sweats, can I, and I'm can serious, the cold sweats are Can I right brag now. for you for just a minute, now you are, by the way, America's third most listened to radio talk host, very, very close in terms of total audience to uh, Dr. Laura. Uh, well, you're which, not helping me. Well, which I, makes, I'm trying which, not to be nervous here. No, 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 but, but what makes that fascinating is you are on overnight, and for you to have the numbers... L let me give you some examples. I know because I worked hard to help get you on WGST in Atlanta, the station I used to work at, and you took it from a two-share <laughs> uh, to a 15-share. That's a true statement. In one, radio, in one rating book. In, in Chicago, similarly, you took it from very low ratings. You're number one overnight in Chicago. You're number one in Los Angeles. You're number one in Detroit. Uh, you're number I, one... I, know. I wonder why. I, well, I mean, it, <laughs> well, and this is what I mean. It is a phenomenal American dream success story. I mean, and a friend of mine described what you do as capturing the rhythm of the night. Bob Just, a mutual friend of ours. Oh, well, there's... That's absolutely true. And, and uh, there's a whole different crew up at night. Because there's you're not like any other talk host, and I want you to explain this. You, are, you do not do no. the, the typical talk radio that people are used no. to. No, I don't. As a matter of fact, uh, it probably will be a great shock for a little while in New York, and you're not going to be able to judge what I do based on one night or two nights. And I think Rush says something like that. But what I do... I'm really serious about that. <laughs> you can't judge it. I, I do a very strange show, Sean. I do 
what the hell do I do? I, <laughs> can I you. describe it? Can I, can I jump in? We, ahead, give it a try. We had, for example, and I, you and I had a long conversation this afternoon, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, I had mentioned to you that I like to interview people like Malachi Martin, oh, yes. who I know you have had on your show a number of times. Uh, we had Roy Masters on. I know you've interviewed Roy before. Sure. Uh, you know, people that believe in, in good and evil and exorcism. And y your statement to me was, oh, those guys are mainstream compared to... <laughs> some of what I do. The, some of what I do. You deal with extraterrestrials. You deal All with UFOs. I, I, sometimes I open a line for aliens. You, th for aliens to actually call in. Just aliens, yes. <laughs> or, and do you or, believe or, you've ever talked to an alien? Um... Well, I have, let me put it this way, I, I certainly have talked to people who are convinced they are aliens. I have opened time traveler lines. I have talked to people from the year 2012, 2050, 2060, and they have given me predictions that, by the way, many of which already have, begun, uh, you know, come true. Yeah, you don't, so, it, it, I, I do well, weird stuff. I have a guest coming on soon about talking about life after life, and that's another th issue you deal with. All the time. All the time. Isn't it one of the great questions that exist i mean whether oh, there is a, whether there is a god i believe and i love to talk about that um there's a lot of news on that front by the way you know they've discovered a part of the brain mm -hmm. that is only activated when people think about god they have actually documented about is that it. right that's yeah. fascinating I've got the story here that's, that's only fascinating. when you think about god and where did you find that where'd you find that little Oh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's, in, it's in a solid scientific publication. You see, because I, w I want people to know that this is different because, e for example, I do a, first and foremost, I do a very issue-oriented show. Mm -hmm. I respond to the news of the day. I do take a lot of calls. Uh, if we have guests, they're, they're usually the opposite viewpoint of my viewpoint. Um, I believe in verbal combat, verbal debate, but then I like to sort of branch out and do some of these other shows which are the shows that you do on a regular basis but you also will do a political topic about Iraq or, or about any of these things as well. If anything really happens, you know what, I've avoided it so far, I haven't said very much about mm -hmm. Iraq, if anything really happens there I'll be on it in a heartbeat but I don't think anything's going to happen just today we offered Can you oh, believe we this? offered food aid if they just let our inspectors back in, give me a break uh, we, why not make a cash offer? <laughs> I don't want to pigeonhole you. Are you political? Um, sure. Um, I'm, I'm political. Yes, I am, in my heart, and I watch politics very carefully. But in the last couple of years, Sean, I've got to be honest with you. I think that what's been done in Washington, what's being argued about in Washington, is pretty much irrelevant to the everyday lives of the American people. Some truth to that. But there's some truth to that. Uh, do you lean one way or the other, or would you rather not say? Um, I'm probably mostly a libertarian. Okay, fair I'm enough. Libertarian. Uh, I want to make sure I get some things in. Number one, if people call into your show, you don't have a call screener. Oh no, I don't. No, and I have uh, it, five, six lines here, and they just ring all the time, and I just keep punching different lines, and it's like Russian it, talk radio, Russian roulette. If they ring, you're on. Don't hang up. <laughs> that, well, that's right. Um, now the phone company will allow people to ring for about three or four minutes and then it will some little voice will come on and tell you sorry uh, oh boy that's got to be silence. heartbreaking if they finally get through and then <laughs> that happens but actually when you break it down on the part of the caller they're not put on hold so that when they do get through uh, even if they're calling a non-800 number and i've got toll-free lines of course but if they're on a non-800 number they're then only charged for three minutes uh, or however long we're on the air, you know, whatever it is. Right, okay. And their chances, ultimately, if you do the math, of getting through are every bit as good either way. Do you uh, have any uh, information? I know, I, for example, I know how many hits we get per hour on this show. I mean, people that call and that don't get through. Do you have any of that information? Uh, I do. It's about, I think uh, we monitor... Uh, our 800 lines because they give you a report every month on those and it's like a million people or so on each line that don't get through. That's unbelievable. So it's going <laughs> to our, our usually uh, participating See, late night audience. It's going to make me nervous. <laughs> I'm telling you. I don't, yeah. No, no, no. Listen, I'm going to tell you and I mean this in all sincerity because I started out in radio art uh, traveling around the country and uh, which most of us do and, and working in small markets and it was a dream to come home and play for the Yankees here at WABC. You know, my, my home city. Sure. And um, 
I, I just got to tell you that you're not going to meet a more open audience, friendly audience. You, you will get the six weeks, the two months for them to adjust. And then I'm, I think what they're going to love about your show is it is special, it is different, it is unique, and it is so informative. And, and you don't know from one night to the next, it's so unpredictable, what's going to be happening. You don't even know. No, that's right. And I think that's what they will, they will come to love. Uh, and, and, oh, listen, you've written a number of books. Uh, have, one, yes. The Quickening. Can you hang on with us for a few more minutes? I know you go on at one, so we're going to have to let you go in a few minutes. But we got a few more minutes to, to stay with us? Absolutely. All right. Art Bell is our guest. He is our new overnight guy. He's going to be on two to five weeknights, Monday through Thursday. Lynn Samuels on Friday night. And uh, we're going to come back. Maybe we'll... I see the lines. Some people want to talk to Art. Maybe we'll uh, get a couple of calls in for Art uh, quickly, but then we're going to have to let him go. And just a minute, you're going to really love his show. It's on weeknights 2 to 5, Monday through Thursday here at 77 WABC. It's 12.52. It's uh, 8 minutes now before 1 o'clock. Art Bell is our guest in Art is our new overnight guy here at 77 WABC. He'll be uh, starting tonight at 2 o'clock. As soon as we have Hannity's Insanity, we get off the air. Uh, Art, very, very quickly, because I know we're short on time, um, you broadcast, not from, I mentioned Las Vegas, you're about 65 miles outside of Vegas. Absolutely, close to Death Valley, actually. <laughs> and you really broadcast in the middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere, uh, from my home, Sean. Wow. In other words, I get to go from the living room right in here into a little converted bedroom that serves as a studio, and here I am. It's with your very own, comfortable. With your own little racquetball court, soon to be <laughs> built. <laughs> They're building it every day. They're making lots of noise back there. I'm going to have my own racquetball court. Do you believe, you talk a lot about uh, UFOs, extraterrestrials. You've interviewed the, the, the uh, most prominent people in, in those fields and in the scientific community and the, in, in, in the scientific world. Do you believe in life outside of here? Well, as they said in contact, if there isn't life out there, what a waste of space. Yes, I do. I think I'm convinced it's out there. Do I believe it has been here yet is a different question. But, Sean, if you had seen what I have seen, and I've seen one, I didn't have a close encounter of the third kind, but it was almost, I had a craft pass 150 feet above my head, about two miles from home, and I stood outside my car with my wife, and we watched this thing come up from behind us, a big triangle, about 150 feet up, no sound, uh, doing about 30 miles an hour, not aerodynamic flight, Sean. And it passed right above our heads and kept, out, uh, kept on going right out across the valley. And when was that? This was about two and a half years ago. And once you've seen something like that with your own eyes, it changes you. I, you see, I don't doubt that all of these things are, are possible. I've never seen anything like that. I, I believe in good and evil. I believe there are spiritual forces that work on each and every one of us. Uh, and, and, and you know what? I, I tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to invite you back in like the next week or two. And we, can you spend an hour with us? Yes. There's I, a lot to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. Now, I also want to quickly mention your book, The Quickening, which I'm now reading. And people will learn about this phrase, The Quickening, as they listen to your show. Because we don't have a lot of time to promote it. Okay. Well, it's simple. Uh, I spent a lot of years doing essentially issue-oriented talk radio. And as I moved into what I'm doing right now, collectively I began to see some trends uh, in the economy, in the environment, socially, politically, you name it, any aspect of uh, human endeavor. Things seemed to be speeding up. Now, people would call me and say, no, 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 no. You know, it's just the fact that we've got the Internet, we've got news, we've got communication, and so you're just hearing about things at a faster pace. And the reason I finally wrote the book is to prove, to document, that I'm right and they're wrong. Things are, in fact, speeding up, and headed it, towards some kind of event. And wait till, do you think it's the end of the world that we're talking about? No. What do you think I it know, is? I, no, no, the world is going to go on. Uh, the world is, as Rush says, uh, indestructible from our point of view. But we certainly can destroy it in terms of our uh, its ability to support us anymore. Let's get a quick uh, couple of hello calls here. We have uh, Tamika, first-time caller from uh, Orange County, New Jersey, on WABC for Art Bell. Hi, Tamika, and we're real short on time, hon, okay? All right, it'll be uh, about Sir. 20 seconds. Yeah, go. It would be um, about Florida and uh, Mr. Art Bell. Yes, sir. In Florida, there, there's uh, a story about a picture about an angel in the in the clouds. Maybe Linda Morton how uh, you can get into um, look into that. Or Let me stop you right now. If you go to my website at www.artbell.com, you'll see that photograph. 
Okay. I got a, uh, I got a quick prediction for you. Sure. Okay. The three days of darkness is going to be by clouds, and there's going to be an earthquake between here, between now and February. And how about a special line for people of New York? <laughs> Your open line. <laughs> we will. I guarantee we'll do it this week. Okay. Thanks a lot, uh, to make Appreciate the call. Peters in Nassau County on WABC for our new overnight host, Art Bell. Hi. Hi, Sean. Hi, Art. Art. Hi, Peter. Art, quickly, welcome to New York. Ramona, Thank you. Welcome to New York. And Art, please don't be nervous. You're going to do awesome. He's doing great already. I don't know what he's nervous. He's on 400 stations, for goodness I've sake. I've been listening to Art Bell for two years on through other stations outside of New York. And let me just say, people say, call him, oh, Art Bell, the UFO guy. Yeah, he is Art Bell, the UFO guy. But he's so much more. Oh, absolutely. The show is awesome. He's an awesome host. Peter, I'm glad you said it. And again, I, I don't think people should get to know you in a day or a week. Uh, because I have listened to some shows that I have just been riveted by that you have done and some of the great guests you have. One more quickie, we'll let you go. Pope in the Bronx, WABC. Say hi to our new overnight guy, Art Bell. Hello, Art. This is Pope from the Bronx. Uh, welcome to New York. And uh, oh, if, if you get a chance, uh, come out of that desert and come right on to New York, <laughs> you know, and get some exposure. Well, I grew up all around, so you can depend on the fact I'll be back. Listen, Okay, you have a good night. Thank, thank you, you Pope. Pope. Appreciate the call. Uh, listen, please come to New York and spend some time with us, and uh, I hope you can work that into your schedule. I'll work on it. All right, listen, Art, thank you. Art Bell is going to be on 2 to 5 tonight, his debut program, and uh, it's a treat, and I just can't wait to hear you, Art, and I wish you the best, and we'll stay in touch. We'll have you on sometime in the next week or two. Take care, my friend. All right, Art Bell, uh, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Uh, I'm telling Carl, this is going to be great. I mean, he's very, very interesting. And I know the tendency, because uh, most of the people that we're used to hearing in New York are very, very issue-oriented, um, don't deal with maybe some of these other topics. But you know what? If you go in with an open mind, uh, you're going to learn so much. I, I think you're going to find a show riveting and entertaining and interesting as uh, I have, and I, and I hope you'll be listening. All right, quick. Well, I've been getting so much mail about the shows that I did with, like, Malachi Martin, uh, Father Malachi Martin, and, and the other show we did with Roy Masters, and, you know, when we talk about evil, and it's just amazing. There is an insatiable appetite out there for these types of topics. When we did the Roswell show, uh, remember, the f uh, just people go insane over that stuff. And uh, if you want a regular nightly dose of it, I think Art Bell's going to be the guy for you. Um, and uh, again, don't judge a show. This is a tendency if you hear something different. Like, he's not going to come on out of the box tonight uh, talking about Iraq. He's not going to jump out of the box tonight talking about the hot news and what we call the burning issues. He's not going to be going over the day's news events necessarily, although sometimes he may very well do that. Um, and if you hear that, if you don't hear that at first, maybe you're accustomed to a specific type of radio and I just urge you to just sit back for a while sit back for you know four or five weeks you know just give it a chance you, you're not gonna get the flavor of it in one night or one week or two weeks it just is the type of thing that you've got to give a little time for and uh, my prediction is he's gonna be huge as he has become huge in so many other cities and markets overnight I think he'll be very big here and uh, I think you'll enjoy what he has to offer some some fascinating guests uh, okay, let's get back to our phones. Uh, who's been hanging on here the longest? We'll try uh, Demetrius in Old Bridge, New Jersey on WABC. How you doing, Demetrius? Are you there? Talk to us, Demetrius. We'll let him go. We'll try uh, Schmel Borough Park next on WABC. Hi, Schmel. How you doing? Good. How you doing? I want to speak about two things. Why is America letting a rat get away with this? They're going to get, like, chemical, all these weapons now. We, meantime. Yeah. Well, I, 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 in, in one sense, there's no doubt about it, Saddam is winning temporarily. Um, but I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't, if I was president, I wouldn't have struck yet. I wouldn't have bombed yet. We don't have our carriers in place yet. Uh, I would go through a little diplomatic channels as we've been going through. Yeah, but they could, right now, they could start developing and things... Because no one is really checking on them right no, now. Yeah, I know, but we're only dealing with days. We're not even dealing with a week yet. And he's not developing nuclear weapons now just because the inspectors are out for, these, for this few-day period. Um, you want to be patient. You want to be prudent. But you don't want to be intimidated by it. And you don't want to be put in right. a position where uh, Saddam Hussein is dictating the terms. And yeah. you don't want to adopt a policy of appeasement 
which ultimately would uh, result in uh, a less stable region of the world because of that weakness. Yeah. Okay. About UFOs, right? Yeah. Yeah. You believe in UFOs? Um, I don't doubt. I see, I think there's such a small smidgen of what we really understand about science and about the universe and about life and about God and about... So in my view, anything is possible. Right. In my view, there could be... Look, we live in a universe within universes within universes. You know, look at our own solar system. We're discovering new stars and, and, and uh, galaxies each and every day. So, uh, in my view, uh, it wouldn't be all that surprising to me if there was more intelligent life out there. Yeah. No, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Yeah. And, uh, because I, I don't believe in all this stuff. I'm Jewish. Well, that doesn't mean... <laughs> I'm Jewish. I don't believe in that. Um, no, well, that's fine. Uh, you know, I believe in God, and I believe in, in all the, uh, uh, His Majesty that nothing is impossible with Him. Anything's possible. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay? Tommy! <laughs> Hello? Yeah? You're uh, cracking yourself up, huh? No, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, okay, well, hold on. Hello? Yeah, hi. Yeah, um, I just wanted to say, uh, that Lynn Cyrus is terrible. They should blow her up with the nuclear thing, you know? See, I just... <laughs> I thought that was very, very entertaining. Didn't you, Carl? <laughs> Let's go back to our phones. We'll get <laughs> we'll get a couple of real callers in here occasionally. Let's go to a Connie next in Manhattan on WABC. Hi, Connie. Hi there. How you doing? Pretty good. Yourself? Terrific. Thank you. I'm a little annoyed with going out of town to find some talent. We in New York are filled with talent. Why don't you send some scouts out? You're talking no, about... You're bringing them in from out of town, out of town, out of town. Well, I'm We've not from out of town. Lots of talent here. Well, I'm not from out of town. Curtis isn't from out of town. Penny's not from out of town. I know that. But the ones you are bringing in are Steve Malsberg's not from out of town. I mean... <coughs> you were out of town a long time, and so was Brian Whitman out of town. Well, but I, I was out of town trying to pursue this career that I'm in. You, you don't start at WABC when you're starting radio. You don't start in the number one market on the most listened to talk radio station in America uh, unless you paid your dues. Well, how and come you're not allowed even to try to pay your dues? Why don't you try to start here? Well, because... What do they do with baseball players, football players? They send scouts out. Well, but that's the point. But how many football players start in a college and then they start in the minor... Or right. baseball players start in the minor leagues? The mi let's say they grew up in New York, but they end up playing you know, for Tidewater or some other minor league team, and then hopefully they end up back in New York. That's what, you know, with the years I spent working in California, in Alabama, in Atlanta, those were the minor league years for me. Well, you had to do that part of it. Well, That's okay. But that was years ago. That was hey, everything is loaded with talent. If you go to some of these is, little clubs... Is, is there somebody you think that maybe we should be hiring? Not somebody in particular, no. There are several people out there. Well, let me just offer a suggestion. First of all, Art Bell is and has lived in this area, number one. Number two, uh, he's number one in just about every major market in America. And I think the reason for it is he's a very talented man with a lot of keen insight that has a great, great entertaining show. So why don't you sit back for a month, listen in, and then if you're not happy after a month, call Phil Boyce and tell him to drop dead. Oh, well, that's you know, not tell him, nice. Well, you know what I mean. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I know. Tell him, tell him, hey, Phil Boyce, listen. Well, listen, he gave a choice, a, wrong, a chance to that uh, hoople, what's his name, Brian. Well, so he'll give a chance to anybody. I'll give, well, he's, he, he gave the Mashiach a chance, and the Mashiach got a promotion. Yeah, bully. <laughs> Thank you, Connie. I'm glad okay, you're listening, love. sweetheart, okay? Okay, You're love. terrific. This guy really brings something to the table. WABC is, is definitely privileged to bring him on. Uh, listen, I'm glad you said that. I know there are going to be some people, Pat, tell them that they're going to be skeptical the first few nights, probably. Well, you've got to look at this with an open mind. Um, you might not believe everything he has to say. But what he does have to say does hold some water. I mean, there are definitely some facts involved here, and you can't dispute them. If nothing else, it's at least 
uh, opening mentally, intellectually, a whole new area where you can either, A, learn something or uh, at least be entertained by it. Oh, you'll definitely be entertained uh, as far as learning something. Like I said, that, that's a, up to the person. You need an open mind. I can't wait for him. I well, just can't What people wait. Will, won't know that they're tapping into is something that around the country has become a national obsession. It is an overnight radio obsession and, and an absolute phenomenon that has taken place. The number of listeners he has in markets are mind-boggling. He has a huge audience. And again, if people give it a chance, I think they'll like it. Oh, they're going to enjoy it. Well, if not just for the entertainment purpose. What a combination. Hannity and Bell. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a one-two knockout punch. Thank you, Pat. So it's raw radio. We don't screen the calls. If you're easily offended, tune out now. The news comes on at 2, followed by the debut program of Art Bell at about 2.06, 2.07 or thereabouts. All right. You get five seconds, five seconds only. Curtis East Rockaway, first time caller, five seconds, go. Yes, I have about 12 people listening today. Art Bell, we've been listening to him for a long time over here on Long Island on Ohio radio stations, stations up from Albany and all over. He is the best. He talks about UFOs. It's going to be great. Art Bell tonight debuting on 77. Really great. Thank you, Curtis. Appreciate the call. Uh, let's see. Margie Carlstad, uh, New Jersey on WABC. Five seconds, Margie. Hi, Sean. Hi. Um, suddenly, I saw you on, on TV. Your uh, show was on. Oh, you saw the show tonight? I, I did. Did you like it? Yeah, fantastic. At first, I thought you were calm. And I said, oh, he's a little scary looking. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> he's calling my buddy Alan scary looking. Oh, I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, no, but you're the handsome guy. Oh, well, you're being too. Well, you're being obviously those glasses of yours need to get fixed. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Margie. Every night, weeknight, nine o'clock, we re-air it at one. Okay. Okey-doke. You're a sweetheart. Have a good night. Bye bye. All right, we got Michael Ocean Grove, New Jersey. Flush the lines, Michael. Go. Hey, it's Donald Duck. <laughs> Thanks, Donald. Call back. Pat, New Jersey or Jersey City, WABC. Five seconds, Pat. Yeah, Sean, it hasn't been uh, mentioned in the mainstream media, but the Clintons have reduced the military across the board by about 35% since the Gulf War. Scary. Yep. Scary. Walter, Brooklyn, WABC. Yeah, hi. Great show. You're a real class act. Uh, I, I really love the way you handled that uh, slick propagandist tonight. Thank you. You're very welcome. And keep up the good work. I just wanted to say we have a, a great talent, Steve Malsberg. We should give him a shot. And even though Jay Diamond is so venomous on his callers, he also has a lot to offer. And I don't know that Art We Bell... have a kinder, gentler Jay, but I agree. But Steve should get more time, yeah, too. Yeah, because Art Bell is weird, and, and he's good, but maybe once a week. You know what I mean? Uh, well, we'll see. Uh, you know, things have a way of changing in this business, you know? Keep up the great work. Thank you, Walter. Okay. Sleep tight, man. Glad you called. You're on WABC. Go. Hi, Sean. This is Rich. Hey, Rich. Art Bell, Art Schmell. If the Republicans don't impeach Clinton, they can go to hell. <laughs> You're on WABC. Go. Little musical interlude. You're up next. Hello. Ditto on Malsberg. He's the only one who lets the racism of John from Staten Island have a good Oh, area. look at it. Good, Thank good, you, Scott. Pe Malsberg. Scott, good how you doing? Scott, Malsberg. come out of character, Scott. Say hello. Uh, I, can I say one thing Scott, about Art Bell? Scott, five seconds only. You're on WABC. Go. Our commander in chief without <laughs> fundraising again. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? Uh, what, yeah. Amazing. You're on WABC. I would draw the line. I would, uh, I would make an announcement right now. You're either with America, you either want to be part of America, or you're going to be executed. Wow. You're on WABC. Hi. Where's Brian Whitman's funeral? I must have missed it. <laughs> Brian's on WPLJ week, in, week after the... Hey, just, look. Stop wearing that yellow tie. Put back the blue and white one. <laughs> you like the blue and white the one better? better, yes. <laughs> Take it easy. You're on WABC. Hi. Hey, five seconds, my ass. <laughs> You're on WABC. Hi. I wonder if Art Bell will discuss the mother wheel. <laughs> Where's the mother ship hovering above the earth? Who's this? For fifty thousand dollars, Saddam Hussein can sleep in the Clinton bedroom to ACDC song. <laughs> you could probably do it for less. Who's this? Hey, Sean, what's up? Hey, victim of circumstances. Hey, listen, I've been sick. It's hard doing this uh, voice with a sore throat. Boy, we try recall. Hey, try hey, a little. I try. I try the harder thing. Try a little echinacea. Good show. Bye. You're on WABC. Hi. Sean? Yeah. Yeah, last Friday, uh, two movies opened up. One Night Stand and A Man Who Knew Too Little. Yeah. Sounds like the life story of Bill Clinton and Al Gore. <laughs> You're on WABC. Hi. Good night, are we? I love you. Right. Good night. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. 
this public service announcement. Crack will kill. You're on WABC, go. Hey, Sean, you know the real reason Saddam is angry? Why? Because Schwarzkopf was on Celebrity Jeopardy and he wasn't invited. <laughs> Did he win? I hope he won. You're on WABC. You're up next. Hi. I can't hear that. You're on WABC. Go. I don't know who that is. You're on WABC. Sure. Why does John McConnell's new voice hate the listeners so much that they're putting Art Bell on? Call them. I have. You, you know, I like Art. You're on WABC. Who's this? They're trying to discredit John from Staten Island. Who Sean? is? Did you hear the whole tape? Listen to it. Uh, it talked about shooting people just because they turned their head wrong. You ever hear that? John is great. Ask him why he said that. You're on WABC. Hello. Hi, this is Justin. I think You're up next. Hi. You're on WABC. Hello. Stop being a hypocrite. You can't knock John without...